Hey everyone, this is Nick Dolman, and today I'm going to chat about a really cool new feature coming to Microsoft Dataverse, multi-table lookups, also known by the cool kids as polymorphic lookups. You may have seen a recent blog post from the Microsoft product team about multi-table lookups being available in preview. You might even wonder, what the heck are multi-table lookups anyway? You know when you create a relationship between two tables in Microsoft Dataverse? Whether it's a one-to-many, a many-to-one, or even a many-to-many, -many, you can only relate one type of table to only one other type of table when you're creating that relationship. Let's say I want to add a new table called Payments to my model-driven Power App. Creating the table is easy, but I want to relate the payments to a few other different types of tables. For example, in my Power App, maybe I want to track payments against registrations. Maybe I receive payments for an entire class, and I want to track those payment records against the class instead. I might even receive a payment for creating a full course. How can I manage all these different types of relationships? One option I've considered in the past is to create the payments table as an activity type table. Activities are great as you can relate them to any other table as long as that table has activity tracking enabled. There are some downsides. The one thing is you need to add those payment records using the activity menus and the user interface. This can get to be a bit confusing, especially for new users. Your payment records are also going to show up alongside other activity records like emails, phone calls, and tasks. The final big issue is security. Security for activity tables is at the activity level. So if end users need access to other activities such as emails and phone calls, but you need to limit access to payments, you're gonna run into some roadblocks setting up your security roles. The next option, which is likely what many of you are doing right now, is creating a separate relationship for each type of table that you wanna have a lookup for. Now, this is really gonna work for your security setup, but you're gonna have different lookups on the form to relate to. You might want to use business rules to hide and show specific lookups, and it also might still be confusing for your end users. When you're creating views and reports, you're going to have many different columns for each type of lookup to add to those views. Maybe there's a better way. The new multi-table feature of Microsoft Dataverse allows you to create a polymorphic relationship, meaning a lookup to many different types of tables. At this point, Microsoft has not yet provided the ability to create multi-lookups in the Maker Portal. A developer can use the SDK to create these special column types. However, the easy way is to use the XRM Toolbox and the new tool, Polymorphic Lookup Creator. Simply choose your solution, then the table. You can choose to create new multi-table lookup and then choose all the tables that you want to relate to. Finally, give the new column a display and schema name and click Create Polymorphic Lookup. Now that the multi-table lookup has been created, you can add it to a model-driven form and a model-driven view in the regular Microsoft Power Apps Maker Portal. In our Power App, we can use the multi-table lookup to not only select the record, but also choose the table type. This allows us to relate our payment record to many different table options. Our views also appear much cleaner with only having one column dedicated to the different tables. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope this information will help you with your future Power Apps projects.